Okay, so what I have here is the basic wiring diagram of the two-wheeled combat robot platform I'm going to be building. And no matter how complex your robot may become in the future, they all share the same six common components. So you have your battery, your speed controllers, ESCs, your drive motors, in this one I've got two, two drive motors. You have your receiver, which controls your ESCs. And finally, for safety, you have a main power switch, and you have an LED or light, so you can always see when your machine's on. So, for this combat robot platform, for the battery, we'll be using this 2.2 amp hour LiPo, and uh, remember to observe the, uh, all the safety precautions necessary for LiPo batteries so, before you use them. And then, for the switch, believe it or not, this is actually the switch we'll be using. This is a Fingertech switch. You can buy them through Fingertech Robotics or BotBits. And for this two-wheel platform, it's more than capable of carrying the current needed. So, that's our switch. So, speed controllers. That's what we need to control the current from the battery to our drive motors. For this machine, we'll be using TZ85 Amp speed controllers available from BotBits. These are pretty much the speed controller of choice for featherweights at the moment. They're low cost, uh, extremely reliable, and I like them quite a lot. So, because this machine has two wheels, we have two speed controllers. And for our drive motors, you remember we hacked up these $20 Kmart cordless drills and red wheels. So these will be our drive motors. So one there, and one there. And then second last, we have our receiver, which will be translating our commands from the transmitter into movement through the speed controllers and gear motors. And lastly, for safety reasons, we have a light. So this is just an LED with a resistor which plugs into the receiver directly and whenever the machine's on, this will light up. So it's a good indication to know when your machine's on in case you might have forgotten and your transmitter may be on and you bump it and then the machine moves. At least you know it's on. Okay, so that's how a basic wiring diagram works for your combat robot platform. So with that out of our way, we can now start assembling our robot platform. This is going to be our chassis. It's actually just a chopping board, but these make really great robot bases and uh, sort of experimental parts because they're low cost and they're made from quite a durable plastic and they're really easy to machine and drill as well. So what I've already done is I've gone ahead and drilled the four on each side mounting holes needed for our drive mounts. So you might remember in a previous uh, episode I had those black drive mounts. These are the newer versions, so instead of being all in one, these clamp over the, the, the gear motors. So these will be available soon through bot bits. And to attach these you just need some M6 uh, screws, uh, long enough to go through all the mounts. So I think these are 60 millimeters long. And you need the suitable nuts. These are nylock nuts, which have a little bit of nylon on the end, so it helps keep them locked in place. Normal nuts will vibrate loose over time. It's just something you learn <laughs> over the years of building combat robots.